Who do you plan on starting tomorrow? Colin Fisher. Was that an easy decision, or did you give consideration to Bobby? Or? Yeah, I mean, Bobby will pitch. But, uh, yeah, since we didn't use Colin over the weekend, we'll, we'll start. You said in there you want to get Dylan Carter some more? I'd like to get a bunch of them more. I know we probably won't get to pitch them all, but, you know, first we're going to try to win the game, but we also want to get some guys in if we can. Hey, State is 16 and 14. No, much on them yet? Yeah, I don't know a whole lot. You know, the other coaches are kind of working on those uh, scouting reports. We'll go back over to this afternoon. But, you know, I follow their scores. It's had a lot of games. There's been a lot of run scores. Sometimes they did, sometimes the other team. Um, I mean, it's when it's a in-state school, it's kind of throw the records out a lot of times. They're going to give us all we want. Like you said, the in-state schools, they get real excited to play you guys. It's been a few years now, but Arkansas State hadn't gotten any uh, kind of a part of it. Yeah, we got, I think we got rained out last year, didn't we? So. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, they, they've always had good players. We know a lot of their players because they're in state. We've had them in our camps and different things, but uh, we haven't seen them in a while. So it's, uh, you know, it'll be, it'll be kind of new for us as well. It's like, uh, you know, I think our guys, you know, we just want to play. And hopefully the weather holds off or gets out of here and, and you know, we get a chance to play tomorrow night because – there's three or four position players I really want to get in there, and obviously some pitchers that really need to throw. You mentioned there Peyton Holtz, one of the position players that you'd like to get in there. What are your thoughts on just him handling, maybe not playing as much as he'd like? Well, there's he's not the only one, so it's just it's just the way it works a lot of times. I think he's been great, he's been a great teammate, real popular, and uh, you know we'll get him. He he's going to do big things for our team this year. It's still to me, it's still early. Does it help when you have guys like Wagner who sit for a while and then get their, their their situation and make the most of it and have some success after sitting for a while? Does that help with morale a little bit? Like yeah, it does. Other guys I mean, he, he, had a, he had a great attitude. He, one week he wasn't even on the roster, and then last week, weekend against LSU, he was, and he, he got his opportunity. He was start, hit a home run, and uh, took some, had some good at bats. So, uh, yeah, he's uh, – and t players see that. You know, they, they notice, but – those guys are they're, – they're more mature than maybe some people give them credit for. They understand or they know, and uh, they know their time's coming too. Does that help you, you know, not have a letdown and just sweep all the sheep because you're playing some other guys that are hungry to get in there and, you know, show what they can do? Well, I would think so. I mean, that's that's part of why, you know, guys in the middle of the week that haven't played on the weekend, man, they want to they wanna get after it. They want to play. They want to try to earn some time on the weekend or – even in some cases, just get on the roster and have an opportunity to play. So, uh, yeah, it should bring some energy. I think this is Tommy Raffle's 16th year there. What have you thought of the way he's kind of maintained the? Shape he's done a good it? job. I mean, it's a, it's it's like all all the programs that are, you know, what I call mid-major programs because I coached at Northwestern State for three and a half years, and you got to you got to fight and scramble for everything you get, you know, from you know budget and players and, and so I really I, I know where those guys are coming from I really appreciate it have you ever had a team where maybe you, you told them that they were maybe being a little too boring like you had to do with this team yeah and it wasn't like I bluntly told them they were boring I just said I just want to see a little more personality I know there's more in there because we just scrimmage it and I said but we we gotta we gotta be a little bit more lively. I said, we're not, we don't play every day like the big league. They play six days a week. We play maybe four, sometimes five, sometimes three. So when you show up and we start playing, you need to be into it. And, um, you know, I get it every now and then, you know, they'd be tired of just the season or whatever things are, you know, however they're going. But you, they, they kind of took it to heart a little bit. And um, I, I like the way they, they, they approach the game. It was Frank the other day. He was talking about after um, after White hit that game winning double, that Helfrich was a guy that dumped the water on him, and just that just showed, hey, that's a guy he's competing for playing time with, but there he is, you know, doing that. Yeah, I mean that's good. You know, that's that's what you want. I I think bottom line, when we're in the in the game in the heat of the battle, so to speak. I mean, they want to win. You know, that's that's number one. Maybe you know the guy would love to get a hit, but if it he, we, he would rather win than him go four for four. And if you get that, you're going to win a lot of games.
when you look around the SEC, have there been any like results in the first three weeks or just trends that have jumped out to you? You know, the league is so unpredictable. Um, you know, you, people talk about Kentucky, and I thought Kentucky was good. They're old. They got a lot of different guys in there, and now it's their second year. They get transfer kids, and I mean, they're playing good. They're pitching good, and uh, they can hit. They showed that this past weekend down there in, in Oxford. So, uh, you know, they would probably be the one you'd probably go, wow, you know, because maybe they haven't been up the top in a while. But they've had their years where they were they were the best. So it's uh, nothing really surprised me. You know, you can run off. I've said it three times. You can run off five in a row, but you can lose five in a row just as quick. And, you gotta, you gotta show up every day, and you gotta pitch and play defense. If you do that, you kind of stay out of the snow. But if you, if you don't do those two things, you can, you can flip. All right, that's easy. Appreciate yeah. it, Coach. All right. All right.